one, it's plot 37 here. It's the 4th of March. Let me just check. No, the 3rd of March. It's a beautiful day. I'm just showing the walk we have to do. Right down there. Let's get where we are, but we're right at the back, out of the way. It's quite nice. Shouldn't really be here today. I'm supposed to be at work. But I am, as you can hear, I'm feeling pretty bad, pretty rough. But it's a beautiful sunny day. And uh, we're on high now. I'm coming down here making a video, really, just to see how things are. Just get a bit of MD on my face. I'm just coming up to him now. Next door. He's been down here late at night. Well, not late at night, just getting dark, meeting up, shuffling around. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Right, okay, I'm back. So, uh, like I said, it's a lovely day down here today. Uh, shouldn't really be here, but it's hard not to when you just live around the corner. So, an update, beginning of March now. Um, it's a quick glimpse of the shed. That's the king's chair. There's King Edward's chitting over there. Nice shed, nice and tidy. Some potting soil there, but it's so wet. I'm trying to dry it out a little bit. It's too muddy. Um, I do have some great news. I don't know if you saw the last video I've done, but I've got major rat problems. It's been about four days since I've had this rat trap out, and finally, I have some success. <sighs> don't like killing animals to be honest with you but when a rat's on your plot and doing damage such as this and getting in your shed it's the only way um, I don't think the girl's going to like it especially Lily because it's like a cute little mouse I hope it isn't a mouse I think it's a rat I've got the rat ears and that but success so there you go Bob I've got my rat if you're watching anyway enough of the gory stuff let's have a little look at the plot uh, I've got some sweet peas I'm going to be growing up here. I made a little trellis out of chicken wire. It's a bit tatty at the moment, but it'll do the job. As we all know, the daffs are out. It's looking very, very nice. I'm going to make them one day. Um, let's have a little walk around. Emily, the other day, my other half, she uh, thinned these strawberries out. Uh, so many crowns where it's just they run wild, so uh, we pulled them out and put them in pots to just separate them a bit. Uh, we've got one bed here, which I actually I uncovered the other day. It's been covered since November. A little bit of poo and whatever in there just rotted away, lovely, and it seems to be okay, lovely. Covered the other one up there because it's um, got green manure. It's not rotting down, so be patient with that one bed looking pretty good and one of my other beds I sort of uncovered the other day it's looking very nice very very nice so won't be long now little area of bits and pieces I'm just you know any bit of wood you keep then you never know comes in handy the cage still needs finishing with the netting just got to do the front a little bit at the back in there and get all protected, get some beds made up. Bit of a rush for that, yeah. Such a beautiful day down here. Uh, fish ponds, okay. Fish still alive. Don't always get fed, but I'll give them a good feed today. Obviously the berry bushes are still sparse. Nothing going on, a few deaths. Uh, this little area here, I haven't dug over yet. I will do. I'm going to put a load of um, corn on the cob in there. There's a little dig over, but it's looking good though. Uh, what we've got here, asparagus bed. Obviously, nothing happening yet, but they'll soon shoot up. Uh, what I've done here, I've got a nice little uh, my pea trellis, which I made up. Found these bits of wood put together, a bit of chicken wire. Job done. So that's all ready to go. Soil looking good. I know there's no weeds this time of year, but it's every little one I pull out, but you have to, I guess. Uh, one bed just rotting down. Oh, a bit of rhubarb under here. 
wanted a bin, but I haven't got a bin big enough. But I've covered it up. Looking lovely and healthy. I know it's not sticking out very far because it's limited, but that'd be good. Looking good. So I'll cover that back up. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, oh, a little coal frame I made. Let's have a look. Um, bear with me while I get these bricks off. Hang on. Okay, so some carrot seeds in here, which haven't come up yet. Ah, ah ha ha. Saying that, there's little ones here. I don't know if you can see. Just poking through now. Perfect. I did wonder about these because we uh, did put them in a bit early. Well, we've got to go. Got some leaks that haven't come through yet, but we do have some. Leaks there, gonna come through, they're doing well. And some broccoli, I think we've got there. I'm terrible for remembering these things. Um, these are the strawberries. We uh, took the crowns apart, well, took the crowns out, put them in pots, put them in here just so they get all nice and fresh out the cold. Probably fresh ain't the right word for it, but I don't know what I'm talking about, so half the time anyway. So, anyway, so that's the cold frame. Nicely insulated, but I'm well pleased with them because I didn't think they were going to come through. But there you go. Uh, what next? Oh, a little flower area. Lovely, look. The sun's out today, proper spring like. I know it's not really spring yet, but beautiful. Look at them. Very nice. Another rhubarb over here. And I have another little patch. Over here, oh, carrot bed. I think I've shown you before with the tubes. Fill them with earth near the time. Oh, it's looking lovely down here. Oh, there's some more over here. Some strawberries we just separated and put around the side of the bed. Just well, we've got so much. Whatever, they, whatever I'm seeing, we don't mind. Might look nice though. Still not sure about the centre here yet, but I think my girlfriend's got a few ideas, some more flowers. Uh, what else? I've got an area here which I'm going to buy two new beds, same as these two over here. I'm not sure what to put in, but that's a work in progress. Um, oh, I've just got a little bed here. I had some radish seeds I just thought I'd put in. Still early, but you just never know, it's trial and error, isn't it? But they're coming up. It was dug up by foxes one day, so they're not in a line anymore, they're just scattered around. So, but just leave them to it, it's fine. Bed there, just covered over. Oh shit, I've got some crap here, I need to get rid of. Though. The wind's blowing it over. Hang on. We're in these posts, but I'm gonna fix them in time. Uh, what else? Girlfriend put something in here. I don't know what she's actually put in here. What has she got here? Oh, parsnips. I'm not too sure if anything's come up. Oh, mm. I'm not sure. A few weeds. She says they're coming up, but I can't really see. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, Garlic and onion, been in all winter. Doing lovely. <sighs> no problem with these at all. Had to cut some of the, uh, some of it back. Had a bit of rust on them. It's not to spread anymore, but I seem to be happy with that, which is all good. Uh, what else? One bad hair needs uncovering, turning over. So I think I might put, well, she wants to put pumpkins in there. It's a massive bed, well, not a massive bed, but a bigger bed I've got, so I've got plenty of room. And our front little beds here. 
passion flower there. I think it's still surviving, but it's looking really nice, beautiful. Proper spring lights. Hopefully spring's come very early this year. I just can't wait to get things going. Yeah, looking good. Just stand the scarecrow, I've seen better days I think. It's starting to fall apart. Uh, dumping area. Compost. Should have took more care with this compost really, but let's see how we get on. Pallet, can't get enough pallets. That's probably about it. So looking forward to uh, summer, spring, time to get involved. That's about it, chaps and chapettes. I'll catch you later. See you later. Bye.